Hi folks, folks here. welcome back to another Pokemon Master video, and uh, we do have some eggs that are waiting to hatch, so let's go ahead and and get those open. Again, a shiny torch would be cool. Um, is there anything else that I really particularly want right now? Um, we got Needle Queen. I, I, I guess a striker would be cool, Like, but like, oh, the strikes are that great. I guess a Needle Queen striker would be cool, but uh, we'll see. Um, I guess we could try out Persian with the uh, CS1, right? Um, oh, that's a Zubat. I'll take a Tech Zubat. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Strike a Zubat, Sludge Bomb Zubat. Alright, what's this? And... Oh, it's another Zubat. Um, well, please at least make one of those have like three passives or something. two passives. Damn. Why do I have so many Zubats? What's going on? Why do I have so many Zubats? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven Zubats. Well, that's Omega weird. Um, Welp. I, I, I guess we'll have to wait on some more eggs to, you know, potentially hatch something interesting. Alright, so a new batch of eggs should be hatching soon. Well, I mean, shit already hatched, <laughs> that's why I'm recording this. So let's go check it out, see if we get anything interesting in this batch, right? I think I have, what, two eggs, three eggs that I got hatching? Anyways, let's check them out. Um, I think I have, like, two three stars and, like, some, like, two stars. Oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? What is this? Mount Moon? Is this Mount Moon? What is going on? Where's so many Zubats? Oh my god, please don't be another Zubat. Like, I'll, I'll take a Meow. A strike of Meow. Maybe. Oh, got a Tauros. Is this a striker Tauros? Striker Tauros would be cool to see. Or Sport Tauros is not bad either. What is this? What is this? And. Okay. Finally, no more Zubats. <laughs> I'll take that. I will I'll definitely take that. Um, oh, it's a three passive striker Tauros. Um. Let's check it out then, I guess. Uh, let me just put some other eggs in the keep Wait, why is this? Oh, all right, let's, uh, let's just quickly go ahead and um, do two quick battles and we'll come back and hatch that. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, pick up this Tauros first. So there we go, we got a uh, Striker Tauros now, which is uh, mini poggers. Um, not that it's really good, but it's, 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 it's different. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Um, it's just that slacking's just better, right? If you want to double it. And slacking's still bad. <laughs> it's weird. Anyways, let's get this thing leveled up. That bell sprout, if you're wondering, it's a tech two star, uh, or not two star, but two passive bell sprout. I'm, I'm, uh, planning on replacing it in the future with a three passive one. So, just that, I guess. Alright, there we go. Tauros. Level 105, one star Tauros. Let's uh, bring it out for a spin. Not a shiny one, though, unfortunately. A Drive actually hatched a uh, shiny Tauros earlier today, so that was pretty cool. Um, I haven't got one yet, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, well, let's see if we could uh, beat any of these super courses with it. And also, uh, while we're at it, try to get some drops here. Um, that, however, was actually a legitimate team I was using, um, if you're wondering. <laughs> Anyways, um, let me swap out some stuff. Tauros in there. Yay, one star striker. There we go. For those who aren't who are wondering, right? Tauros. Body slam, double edge, dire hit, race you, and then uh steadfast five. Headstrong powers are two, so there's that. Anyways. Um I guess we just need a physical buffer, right? Uh mainly since we don't need since we don't need crit, we could just go with uh Samrot, right? Samrot would be good enough there, and then we'll bring a healer so he doesn't die. Um, yeah, let's go, Alexam. Okay, let's uh, let's do this. Um, let's see how quickly uh, Taurus takes itself out as well. <laughs> All right, 
So I'll screw this one up. Do that. Do that. That hit all as well. They don't have to die another time, I guess. Plus three. And then we should have should be at max here. Let's try to double edge the Makuita first. Let's see how much HP we uh, or how much HP we take <laughs> from that before uh, before healing with Alexam. Or doing anything with Alexam, honestly. Um 575 damage. Bro, that's a fully powered up! At least it doesn't we didn't take that much damage with said fast five. But we also didn't do too much damage, so <laughs> I mean Okay, I guess. Get another XP all in here. And we could uh sync move afterwards. Wait, why do they still have any super effective moves against us? We took out the Makuita. That was like the only fighting type around here. Apparently not, I guess. Alright, let's go sync move. Let's see how much the sync move does at least. Uh comes to six cents. Damn, this thing is it's, it's pretty bad. <laughs> and oh we did five hundred without a crit. Five hundred and ninety. Well, it's almost six hundred. Hey, hey, it's almost six hundred! It was almost six hundred. Ouch. Um double edge there. Nine hundred after a sync move. I wanna say not bad, but I would be lying. That's still not too good. <laughs> Alright. It is a one star though, do keep in mind. So we could still level to, uh, level it up. Um well not level it up, um promote it. Uh once we do get one star potential tickets. Oh my god, I can't I think just have to keep on healing, dude. Um once we do get one star potential tickets. Oh and it's dead. <laughs> once we do get one star potential tickets, we could um you know, uh, potential ticket it up. If you really just like Tauros, you're a huge Tauros fan, you got shiny Tauros and you wanna like Use the guy. You could, you could bring it up to a five star, or at least a four star. I guess that's five star is a bit more too expensive. Not sure if you really, really want to do that. But there's so many other great four stars and three stars that I probably want to promote to a, a, a five star instead. Um, but again, also like you're a huge Toros fan, I guess. Um, so, so there's that. Um, it, it will gain uh, plus 100 to each stat if you are bringing it to um, a five star, right? So. There's that, and then there's like plus I think forty stats to to all your stats um with the with the affinity stuff right if I remember correctly so that's gonna be okay the stats the stats aren't actually gonna be too bad right when you actually promote it but like again this is gonna be a lot of investment for something that like its stats aren't that big of an issue it's more so. Well, it is at like one star, but you know, if you invest into it, it's not going to be that big of an issue. But it's more so the move set. The move set's not great, right? Double edge is just not a good move, even with steadfast five. Like, right? You guys saw like once we used one sync move, and like the uh, the double edge started to do like slightly more damage, which is like nine hundred damage. Like you, we just start like taking like forty percent of our HP per hit, which is again not the greatest. Unfortunately, so I guess you could use it like as a body slam unit. Uh, body slam really doesn't do damage though. It's like it's not good. <laughs> Let's see how much body slam does then. And again, you know, this is striker course. We're not supposed to use this one to paralyze with body slam. We're just trying to do damage with body slam. Um, because you know, if you're trying to do damage with body slam, obviously striker course is better. But generally, if you want to use Body Slam, I guess Tech would be more useful since you do have a better chance to uh, paralyze. But then again, you really need it. <laughs> you really need a Body Slam unit to paralyze your opponent. I just noticed I use XP all twice instead of in this together twice. <laughs> Let me get another one in before Body Slam. Alright, there we go. Alright. Let's do this up a bit. And. Never mind that idea. <laughs> Man, Doris is. Kinda doo doo. Well, not kinda doo doo. It's a uh, major doo doo. Um. Yeah, I don't know. 
the tech version I think has like Blizzard and like the support version has like Thunderbolt. Like none of them are that good. <laughs> uh, I mean Blizzard with hostile environments at least semi-interesting I guess. It's not gonna be very viable but it's interesting. You know AoE freeze with hostile environment with a, what almost 20% chance. But is it good? No, it's still really low chances. <laughs> and we're not doing much there. You know what? Let's actually try to beat this stage so we could uh, get our um, things in, I I guess. Anyways. Ah, there goes Horus. <laughs> okay, come on, Alexam. It's Alexam's turn. Alright, um, pull out of all that. When that Geo dude was like water weak, that would be much better for us, wouldn't it? Alright. Special attack. Oh, got an MGR and that as well. Let's do that before we sink. Also, let's get that in and just take the uh, Geo dude out. Although, I don't know why he's Octo when we should have used Waterfall instead. <laughs> it's really the accuracy issue, right? Slight accuracy issue. Alright, can we beat it with just an Alexam? Basically. Plus Samurai for like one more turn before it goes down. Rip. Um, this is support Alexam, by the way. <laughs> this is not DPS Alexam, as usual. Oh, so we'll get one more. No, 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 no. Oh, I think we got it. We got it. Okay, okay, cool. Can we get an egg drop from this? Can we get an egg drop from this? And we cannot, unfortunately. Um, I think we need to do what? Two more battles, right? Two more battles. We'll get the eggs, and then we can hatch the uh, the other one that's uh, that's waiting. Let's do like lower difficulty with this. Um, all right, Taurus. This is normal difficulty. Please don't choke. <laughs> Although I haven't been like seriously playing um, the last uh, two rounds or so, so <laughs> just trying to uh, you know uh, check out Taurus at least. Um, oh no, 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 no! Oh, oh, never mind. We took it out. Damn. Nice, Taurus. All right, all right, all right. We're good. We're good. <laughs> I think. There we go. There we go. Um, thankfully, like uh, w when you overkill something, <laughs> the recoil doesn't get back to you. So that's nice. Also. Oh, cool. There we go. The eggs hatched. Come on, shine, Taurus. Please. And none of them are three passives either. Oh, there's one's three passive support Zubat. Like, they're all like two passive, one passives. What are we doing? What are we doing, game? Well. Time to, uh, donate some Pokemon. Just throw all these out and see, uh... You know, what happens? Well, we get tickets for them. Although, I don't think the ticket system is really live yet. Because I don't see the exchange shop for the uh, egg research tickets. Let me actually check again real quick. Um, but yeah, folks have been reporting that the shop isn't live. I don't know why exactly, though. Um, this shop again. Oh, in there. Uh, exchange items. Uh, daily stuff. Monthly. General. No? Yeah, I don't know why it's not live. It's probably waiting like for the event or something or next month. But anyways, um, well, that's what we, this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, you know what? One more thing before we go. I need to do our sick pair of scouts for today before I forget. Um, all right. We don't have much time getting Berg. It would be really, really nice if he shows up soon. <laughs> all right, it would be cool if we got a Steven too. That'll, be, that'll give us a five out of five Steven. Which I'll take. <laughs> Berg! 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 Last one, please! Please, game! Please! Dude, you just gave me like five, zo seven Zubats! I don't even know! <laughs> Come on, give us something good! Give us Berg! Berg! Oh, man. man. Come on! 
Dude, the banner's almost about to go away. I mean, I'm not mad at a like five star power up for like a hundred gems, but damn. <laughs> oh well. That was anticlimactic. <laughs> well, anyways, again, um, yeah, that's me for this one, I guess, and I'll see you guys in the next one.